Okay, I'm going to try to design part D in SOLIDWORKS in less than four minutes. There's six units this way, six units that way. We're going to use a two to one scale. So we need to lay down a base, which is 12 by 12. Hitting new part. Now let's begin our extrude on the top plane. Starting with a center rectangle. Let's go ahead and select 12 by 12. And exit to extrude. And hopefully it remembers that we're doing these four units high, but it didn't, but that's okay. All right, so then four like that, and that one is done. Now we need to raise um, this part over here. And it looks like it's just four units in. It's going to make it really easy to do that. You know, we want to make it look like that. And it is kind of facing that direction. So that's good. Let's build this up over here, starting to draw on this plane. Let's try the corner rectangle. So we can draw from that corner right there, snap to that one, uh, snap to that corner, snap to that edge. We do need to define this width right here, not to be just any old distance like three point whatever there, we need to make that uh, a two. I think that might not be right uh, because if we look at this right here, it's already two. And so if I double click on this, I can actually change that to four, raise it up by exiting. It knew that we wanted to do this four and we're good. Next thing we need to do is make that cut. And so we're gonna say extrude cut. We wanna cut down on that surface Corner rectangle should do it. Oh, not center rectangle, corner rectangle. I like how it gives you the option over here to you know, change your mind later. I'm gonna snap there and out here somewhere. Got a lot of blue lines, so let's make some smart dimensions. There to there, I believe it's gonna be two. And I got one black line, but this one needs to be black as well. So let's make sure that one is two units. And then also from there to there, and then hopefully everything would be golden. And we could hit exit and then cut on through. Perfect. And we're done. All right. So this is part D. Again, you can go over here and zoom pan to look around. And then I always come back to home by going here and clicking isometric right there. All right. Save that one as part D and upload that one to D2L. And I'll see you soon.